Hey, <laughs> how the devil are ya? Right, so I recently bought um, some Edifier 2.1 speakers and for the price, they're very good. For the price, they're not, you know, mind-blowingly, you know, amazing like 1,000, 2,000 pound speakers, but for 250 quid, they are very, very good. Anyway, so I've been reading on forums and things like that lately that, uh, you know, if you're gonna put them on uh, a wooden surface and not put them on speaker stands or a tabletop or shelves or whatever, you're not gonna get the best sound out of them because the furniture vibrates with the, um, with the speakers. So it distorts the sound slightly. So the, what you can do is buy these foam pads to go under the speakers. So I was like, cool, I'll try them out. So I go online <laughs> and I'm like, look at the price on this. So for even the cheaper ones, for, for a foam pad for these two speakers and for the subwoofer here, the subwoofer one was the most expensive. You're looking at 40 to 60 pounds for a bit of foam. Come on, you want to laugh in chair? What? So I didn't really want to pay like 50 quid for some foam to go under my speakers and it didn't work. So I thought, hmm, what can I do? And then I come up with a cunning plan. <laughs> so what I did, I found this old workout mat, which we don't use anymore. And um, it's very high density foam, very thick, very dense, quite really hard. Uh, so what I've done, <laughs> so what I've done, I put the speakers on top and cut a hole out. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so I've cut some holes, cut some shapes out of it to put under my speakers to see if it'll make a difference. So what I'll do is I'll stick the foam under each speaker and do a sound comparison with and without it. Now, if you do want to listen to this, make sure you put headphones on because you're not going to get, you're not going to tell the difference on a, on a speaker phone or a crappy computer uh, speaker. So what I'll do, I'll do the comparison and after that, um, I'll do a waveform comparison as well to see if there is any difference. So anyway, stop messing about. Let's listen to the sound comparison. So, oh, what do you think? Is there a difference? Is it worth getting these foam pads? To my ears, there was definitely a difference. I felt that the mids and the highs were separated a little bit better. The bass wasn't quite as loose, it's a bit tighter. You know, you could, it wasn't really overpowering the mids and, and the highs. But the problem is, is that once I've edited this and YouTube have scrunched it down and the audio into little tiny bits like this, you may not be able to hear the difference as well on a set of headphones. I mean, let me know, did you, did you hear a difference? I don't know, let me know in the comment section. Uh, so what I'll do, I'm just gonna compare the waveforms now um, to see if there, if there is any difference in the waveforms. So we've got the waveforms here, uh, and this is with the foam, and this is without the foam. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of difference in the waveforms. Uh, look, I'm not an expert with waveforms, but I can see there's definitely a difference. Just look at this one here. Got a much bigger dip here with the, with the lows here. And if you look at this, this is much more detailed here. This, look, this to totally different there. Totally different. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference in this one here as well. And here, we've got a bit of a difference here. Uh, so this one without the foam, what it's doing, the, the reason why the waveforms are different uh, f from what I can see is that it is true that the furniture that it's on is making noises. It is picking up noise and it's picking up vibrations from the speakers and you are getting slight distortions in the sound you're getting. Well, I think that was relatively successful, don't you? I mean, I definitely heard an improvement in the sound. It wasn't night and day, it wasn't like, wow! 
but it definitely was an improvement. I think my homemade isolation sound pads did the job. Whether or not they'll be better than the ones you can buy that's ready made, I don't know. Have any of you guys got these isolation pads on your speakers? Has it made an improvement and is it really drastic? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, found it informative, please give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, come on, subscribe to the channel. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.